hi welcome back it's a simple session so we have already seen pure data how it will be converted into the sales order okay and after that order acknowledgement will be created delivery created and billing will be created let's see this order acknowledgement how it will be created on sap system okay so now you have seen this is the PO. Let's go to VA03. So this is the last, uh, what I would say, sales order we have created. Let's come here. Okay, output, header, edit. Okay. Leave about other IDOCs which has got failed. See order confirmation. If you can able to see, if you select this, if you click this, you can able to find IDOC number, which that means once order acknowledgement to create sales order created, the acknowledgement you will send to the your customer. This is the uh, you know common process, whether it is through IDOC, whether it is through email, okay, whatever the information in a current sales order, if any changes happened, also that also you can send through IDOC or email to your customer, or else sometime through very less time through print actually. Okay, so now let's try to check. What do you call W02? IDOC display again. Okay. Let's execute it. See, this is orders SP, the message type. So this information passed. It's sent from our system to outside. Okay. System A to system B. Okay. So now you can able to see uh, the information on so you can see sales order information sales organization distribution channel and your order type ta or i have taken okay and this is the date and this is purchase document type okay easy your uh, customer this is the customer and this is re your bill to party rg your payer and your ship to party okay you can learn now if you see my previous uh, sessions you will understand why these details are captured in the form of segments okay <laughs> i think you understood something today you are feeling happy by my sessions if you like it you can subscribe my channel and uh, if you wanted to get further videos and all these are the different courses, sales and distribution, 95 hours and 330 lectures. And if you'd like to see, this is introduction to S4 HANA, be comfortable yourself. I'm suggesting these three courses, if you already tried, one is S4 HANA concepts, okay? Sometimes you might get S4 HANA project, getting master to write functional specification. And I have total 19 courses. If you'd like to become expert in pricing, also you can try. And this course. Okay, getting master to write functional specification, real time. This is common for all SD, MM, and FI modules. MM consultants also, you can try this course because purchase order is the initiation for my sales process so that, you know, you will have a better idea about it. Okay, I'm just providing all these links below of this video. If you want, you can try that. So, let's get back to the discussion. This is how the, you know, IDOCs will be flown, your system. System A can be SAP system or system B also SAP system or else either one of the system is non-SAP system. Let's try to see in next session how the delivery IDOCs will be triggered. Actually, two scenarios I have explained with the logical system and uh, and another one is uh, through direct uh, your WE partner. That also you can try in my course. And that's it. I wish you all the best. Have a great day.